So what we're doing is we're going from one of the 8K standard cameras and we're gonna upgrade this real quick uh, on the bench to a uh, dual camera. So the 640 FLIR Bassan sensor. So really simple. This is a brand new unit. We're gonna peel the plastic back here. Go ahead and take this off out of the way. You're gonna need a T6 um, Torx bit. Real simple, there's two, two screws here. So let's take these two screws out. Once you take those two out, loosen those, you'll see this is just a little connector and that actually is what releases, um, that's the only two screws actually holding um, the bracket itself into place for the camera. The rest of it's um, just a uh, tab up under here that locks in the front uh, uppermost part of the bracket. Um, we're gonna have two small Phillips head screws here that will release the FPC uh, flex pressure connector here, which is the only connection to the aircraft itself from the camera module. Pull both of those tiny little screws out. And then use a non-marring spudger of some sort. Sorry, let me get this one out here. So you want to be really careful when you lift this up. So what we're going to do is really carefully get up under there and lift this plate right out. Okay. Once we get that plate out, this pressure connector is just pressed down into the uh, component on the board. So the same thing, we use this non-marring as a plastic spudger. And we're just going to go right up under the edge there and pop it up. And that's it. You'll see it kind of pops up. When you lift up from the back here, when you got this flipped over and then pull out, it's kind of slid up under the uh, up under the front nose of the aircraft there. And that's it. So that's the 8K camera that comes out. You'll very carefully pull out the the dual sensor. Very simply, all we're going to do is go this front. Uh, upper part of the bracket is going to go in and up under here, up under the nose. And it kind of just fits into place. Push it in there. Lock it down. All right, first thing we're going to do is reverse our steps. We're going to do the pressure connector first. I'm going to hold this up and pressure connector. Go right in. You feel it press. Make sure it's completed across fully. Once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in here. Helps if you got a magnetized bit. Let's get both of those back on the shield connector. Very easy, both of those are in place. We're gonna push this back down the bracket, line it up, and then what we need to do is very carefully hold that with your thumb. At the same time, we're gonna put this bracket back on. I'm sorry, this uh, outermost piece of the fuselage here. Locks into place, make sure it's lined up. Drop those screws in place. T6 screws. Sometimes you don't have enough hands. And you can release it because we got one in place. And we're good. So we got that in place. Usually what I do, power this on real quick. Make sure we go into a Nope. There we go. We see calibration. We're good. All right. That's all there is to it. Very simple to change those.